From the ancient new Silk Road connecting powerful continents to a groundbreaking football stadium that's also a shopping haven, and a huge water transfer plan shaping up for the next 40 years, China is showing how much they care about engineering, creativity, and space. Let's look into some of the biggest mega projects still under construction in China. China has always been known for preserving culture and honoring ancestral beliefs. So it wasn't a shocker when President Xi Jinping in 2013 unveiled a visionary plan to revive the ancient Silk Road. Wondering how ancient it is and what it represents? Well, centuries ago, Chinese traders embarked on journeys, trading silk along a network of roads connecting Asia and Europe. This was the OG Global Trade Route. The ancient trade route connected China and Europe during the days of the Roman Empire, transporting Oriental silk to Europe. It played a crucial role in historical exchange and spread of valuable goods around the continent. The route was still in use until 1453 CE, when the Ottoman Empire closed off trade with the West. In 2013, President Xi Jinping introduced the Restoration Initiative, changing the name from Silk Road to the Belt and Road Initiative BRI. The economic belt along the Silk Road is home to almost 3 billion people and represents the biggest market in the world with unparalleled potential. China plans to invest heavily in the project, with the estimated money spent expected to hit a staggering $1.3 trillion by 2027. Now that's crazy! Next on our list is the Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium. This architectural marvel isn't just a stadium, it's a visionary masterpiece set to outshine FC Barcelona's home turf to claim the title of the world's largest top-level professional football stadium. Designed by the Shanghai-based American architect Hassan Syed, located in Guangzhou, the stadium's design draws inspiration from the city's status as China's flower city. Construction of the lotus-shaped stadium began on the 16th of April 2020 with the stadium envisioned to be the future home venue of the Chinese professional club Guangzhou FC. Estimated to cost about $1.7 billion, the stadium on completion would have the capacity to seat 100,000 spectators, offering an unparalleled football experience. Picture yourself in one of the 160 VIP boxes soaking in the excitement. But this stadium is for more than just football. It's a multifaceted destination, blending sports and entertainment seamlessly. This project is not just about the number of seats, it's about creating an indelible mark on the world stage by ensuring it adheres to the world's highest standards. The stadium was projected to stand tall by the end of 2022, symbolizing Chinese football's ascent to global prominence. Unfortunately, the stadium's plans were abandoned when China's Evergrande Group, the world's most indebted developer, withdrew from the project, despite construction already in progress. In September 2021, Evergrande Group declared they'd continue building the stadium despite money troubles. Even though the company claimed construction was ongoing, reports suggested it had actually stopped for about three months. However, in November 2021, the Chinese government took control of the stadium, aiming to sell it to a different company or transfer ownership to the state-owned Guangzhou City Construction Investment Group. But with the 2022 Chinese property sector crisis ignited by Evergrande, it turned out that its debts were so huge that the only option was to terminate existing contracts and the project was cancelled. Unfortunately, we might never see this project come to life. Another mega project in China is the South North Water Transfer Project. This project is set to reshape China's water landscape. The project is not the typical quick fix. It's a multi-decade wonder that has already spanned 50 years from conception to commencement, with an anticipated 40 more years of construction. Yes, it's going to take 40 years to get completed. The idea for the South to North Water Diversion Project dates back to the early days of the People's Republic of China. In 1952, Mao Zedong first proposed the idea of diverting water from the south to the north to address China's water scarcity problem. But after more than 50 years, the project was officially launched in 2003, with a total budget of more than $79 billion. Made up of three main routes, the eastern, central, and western route, it is one of the largest and most ambitious water transfer projects in the world. 
By the year 2050, when this ambitious project is set to be completed, a staggering 44.8 billion cubic meters of water will flow annually. The water transfer project isn't just about redirecting water, it's about connecting China's four major rivers, the Yangtze, Yellow River, Huaihe, and Haihe, via three meticulously planned routes that snake across the eastern, central, and western regions of the country. China is estimating to spend about $62 billion on this huge masterpiece, a price tag that surpasses even the controversial Three Gorges Dam. Stretching an incredible 4,350 kilometers, the project will impact the lives of over 500 million people, serving as evidence of China's unending engineering ambitions. Yet another massive engineering feat is Chengdu's metro. With this urban rail line weaving its way through the vibrant Sichuan province, China is taking us on a journey through time and space, where every station tells a story. December 2022 marked a pivotal moment in Chengdu's history as the metro was unveiled with a network of 12 lines spanning 518.96 kilometers. These aren't mere lines on a map. They are links connecting communities and cultures. The line passes through 373 operational stations seamlessly linked by 46 transfer stations. Chengdu's metro story started in 2005 with the approval of Lines 1 and 2, with Line 1 making its first debut on September 27, 2010. In no distant time, the system evolved into a labyrinth of 12 subway lines and one light rail line. Phase 3 came in 2016, unveiling five new lines, marking a chapter of unprecedented expansion. With this phase, Chengdu's metro became the fourth largest subway system in the world. In 2019, the fourth phase of the metro began, introducing eight new lines. The ongoing fifth phase, unveiled in 2023, promises a substantial addition with 10 new lines covering 199.8 kilometers being constructed. By the close of 2024, Chengdu's rail transit network will sprawl over 700 kilometers. China is also looking at integrating an AI by 2025 to seamlessly guide the entire operation, showcasing a commitment to technological advancement. Chengdu Metro will carve its mark as the pioneer of AI maintenance robots, a groundbreaking development that propels the Metro into the realm of artificial intelligence. Similar to Chengdu's Metro is another exceptional billion-dollar project. The Chongqing Kunming High-Speed Rail Project This high-speed rail network, whose cost is expected to run into billions, will pass through the Three Gorges area. It is designed to handle bullet trains which will effortlessly race through the mountains at a speed of 350 km per hour. China already boasts about 40,000 km of high-speed rail, with the 8 vertical and 8 horizontal Chongqing Kunming High-Speed Railway, spanning over 1,060 km nestled within this expansive network. Previously, a journey from Chongqing Kunming to Beijing took a substantial 20 hours aboard ordinary trains. With the introduction of high-speed rail, travel time is expected to fall to 7 hours. How incredible! Another ongoing megaproject in the country is Hainan Island. Located in the South China Sea, off the southern coast is the second largest island in China after Taiwan, known as Hainan Island. The Hainan International Tourism Island project is being developed by the China State Council. The project was first announced in 2010, and it was officially launched in 2011. The total investment for the project is estimated to be around $50 billion, and the project is overseen by the Hainan Provincial Government and a number of other government agencies. A number of international companies are also involved in the project, including major hotel chains and theme park operators. Although the island has long been a popular tourist destination for domestic travelers in China, the new tourism project aims to attract more international visitors. The main airport serving the island is Haiku Meilan International Airport, which is undergoing expansion as part of the Hainan project. The island's capital city is Haiku and its largest city is Sanya. The Hainan International Tourism Island project is expected to be completed by 2025. However, the development of the island is an ongoing process and it's likely that new projects and developments will continue after 2025. 
The project is already making a significant impact on Hainan, with tourism numbers growing rapidly in recent years. In 2019, the island welcomed over 70 million tourists, and the goal is to reach 100 million visitors by 2025. So the project is already having a big impact even before it's fully completed. With these projects, we can see that China is taking infrastructural development seriously. It's also clear how ambitious the country is. These revolutionary mega-projects, when completed, will not only beautify their various locations, they will also positively impact their local communities, creating opportunities for new industries and new businesses to thrive. The result will be a more diversified and resilient economy that can support the prosperity and well-being of China's people for generations to come. So what do you think about these projects? Let us know in the comments section. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on mega projects around the world. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.